Hey, how's it going today? I'm Scott, I'm the project manager here at Counts Customs. I wanna give you a quick tour of our buildings. Come on this way. As much as we love reality TV shows, it has to end at some point regardless of their genre and cast members. Why you ask? Well, because it's based on a contract. While TV shows end abruptly, cast members also leave shows midway, which causes viewers to speculate on why they leave unannounced. Counting Cars is an American reality series produced by Left Field Pictures and is perhaps the only show on the History Channel with the most amusing and best fitting name. The show follows the daily activities at Counts Customs, a restoration workshop specializing in automobiles and motorcycles. Counting Cars fan favored, the no nonsense manager of the workshop, Scott Jones, left unceremoniously after the second season. History Channel's Counting Cars never revealed what happened to Scott Jones, and to this day, viewers are still wondering where he is and why he left the show. So, what really happened to Scott on Counting Cars? Let's find out. Yo, Humberto, get out. Humberto been on that piece for about two hours now. He's been soaking the clock on me. Humberto went out last night. I know that because he told everybody and I heard it. Give me 10. It's deemed a courtesy for a show and its executives to announce the departure of its cast members at least, as we see with various reality TV shows. Irrespective of how their contract ended, the audience is a neutral part of the show, and they deserve to know what happened to the cast members, especially if it's their favorite, like Scott Jones. Well, History Channel and the show producers didn't inform the audience of Scott's disappearance. However, it might have been a calculated gamble on the part of the suits at Left Field Pictures, who perhaps knew that letting go of Scott could upset fans. Instead, they created a little mystery around the subject, even mentioning Scott during several episodes of the third season. But who is Scott Jones, by the way? I guess you've been wondering about Scott Jones' background and what he did before appearing on the TV show as a bookkeeper and administrator of Counts Customs. Unfortunately, not much is known about Scott's background besides a few details. Scott worked at a local repair store in Greenville called Kiker's Extreme Automotive. He often visited Las Vegas to see his then fiance, whom he later married. Count's Customs employed his wife for a brief period, and it was during such visits that he met Danny Coker. He offered him a job at the car restoration and repair store that eventually led him to become part of the cast of Counting Cars. During the show's first two seasons, which premiered in 2012, Scott was one of the cast members that made the show popular with his work habits and comedic acts. Safe to say, he remained committed to the show until he seemingly disappeared into thin air. Scott Jones was the Counting Cars shop manager and bookkeeper. Lovers of the show will most likely remember Scott as the big, bold guy who had no qualms arguing with his boss when things didn't go his way. Because of the drama he brought to the show, Scott quickly became a fan favorite. I mean, who wouldn't love Scott? He's fun and full of life, there's never a dull moment with him at the shop. Aside from the drama, Scott knows there's time for everything, and multiple footage of him on the show shows that he was serious about his work. He's also on the lookout for the shop owner, and he gives other cast members a tough time if they aren't giving their all. A particular scene came to mind when he told other workers to drop down on the floor and give him some push-ups, and they did so without hassle. In the show's early stages, the shop had around 10 people, but with Scott's leadership and discipline, the shop grew to more than double the initial number within just two seasons that he featured on the show. This growth showed that Scott's impeccable bookkeeping skills and capability of always staying vigilant brought the business to profitability. This way, it could absorb more employees and expand. Scott wasn't just influencing the show on the outside, but he did on the inside as well. When season three of Counting Cars premiered, Scott was nowhere to be found, and it turned out he was replaced by Kevin Mack, Danny Coker's best friend. After a few weeks of no announcement by the show producers, fans became bothered considering Scott was a big part of Counts Customs' day-to-day -day operations. Following Scott's mysterious disappearance, fans took to social media to express their concerns and, of course, brainstorm on several speculations and conspiracies. Just fans acting like fans, I wouldn't blame anyone though. A simple explanation by the show producers would have saved everyone their time. This, however, shows that fans miss Scott's eccentric and bossy presence on the show, who so memorably made the other employees of Count's Customs do physical exercise as their punishment for not keeping 
sleeping to a schedule or messing up a budget. He's evidently loved by all. One prominent theory that popped up among concerned fans was that Scott may have landed in legal issues. Considering that counting cars is no stranger to legal issues, some believe that as the bookkeeper and manager, Scott might have pocketed money from the shop. A little throwback to 2017, a similar case gained public notice, in which Dandy Coker accused a former employee of embezzling the shop's fund, a total of $75,000. Well, unlike the case against the former employee, Joseph Frontiera, no evidence ever came forward concerning Scott's involvement in illegal activities, which could mean two things. The case was used as a cover-up to pave the way for Dandy's best friend on the show, or as some speculators added to the theory, Scott could have been guilty but due to the absence of substantial evidence, the show could not publicly address Scott's departure. Accusing Scott without evidence, especially when the case remained pending, could have had serious repercussions that neither Danny nor the show producers could afford. Fortunately, these accusations never gained any proof, and from reliable sources, Scott never stole from Danny Coker. This means Danny just wanted to get his friend on the show. Another popular theory among fans is that Danny simply got tired of Scott's constant mouthing off and telling him what he should do with his shop and gave him the sack. Of course, the only person who would be the most concerned with Danny's reckless gambles is his financial guy, and that is Scott Jones. Yet, things on the show never got too far out of hand. Since no explanation is given by either Scott or Danny Coker, this theory can either be debunked nor proven. Another theory is that Scott returned to his home in Greenville, Tennessee to open up his own shop, something that seems much more likely. And hey, there's even a bit of evidence to back it up. Not to mention on Counting Cars, it was mentioned Scott had relocated back to Tennessee after his youngest son was born. Considering Scott hasn't posted an update in years on his social media platforms, it's impossible to know what, exactly, the former Counting Cars star is doing today, but chances are, he's in Tennessee. The probability of this theory being right is high, because that is literally what other cast members on other shows do. They either leave a show to start their personal business, or just venture to something else and keep off social media. Ever since he left the show, Scott Jones hasn't been seen at any celebrity event, and that also raised speculations that maybe Scott was just tired of the celebrity lifestyle and wanted time off the screen with his family. However, a fan posted Scott's picture on Twitter a couple of months ago at what seemed to be an operating workshop. While one can only speculate, it seems that the theory of him starting his company is indeed true. Information from reliable sources also did some follow-up on Scott after his picture surfaced on the internet. He is hale and hearty, but lives a private life with his family. Scott is truly not active on social media, even though he has a Twitter account that he hardly updates. Therefore, it's hard to understand what he's doing today as a fan. Talking about his wealth, before he left the show unannounced, Scott Jones was worth around $300,000 for his efforts during the first two seasons. A larger part of the money is from the show. With his double role on the show, he earns a little more than other cast members aside from Danny Coker. Now that Scott is off-grid with his personal business, he will most likely be worth more than that since Matt Kevin, who replaced him on the show, is worth around $1 million as of 2022. Scott must probably be eating good wherever he is. The legacy he left on the show will forever be remembered for good, and hopefully, he reciprocates that in his new business as well, so he can compete with other reality TV shows when offered the deal. Scott's personality on the show speaks volumes, handling the shop like it was his personal business and even questioning the gambling skills of his employer. What a guy. Hopefully, Scott will have the chance to grace and bless our screen with his comedic acts in the near future. More importantly, show producers should cultivate the habit of informing fans whenever a cast member is leaving the show. That would save most fans from various speculations, don't you think so?